everybody. My name's Connor Healy. Um, I got a little tip for you. So last week, week one, we had to line these little fellows up here for the image planes. Um, what I wanted to do was find a better way to do the image plane than using the spotlight. I am just not a big fan of how it, you know, doesn't move with your, um, with the object you're making, with your tool, right? So I wanted to find a way of doing something so that it could be in three-dimensional space and, you know, I could work with orthographic views kind of like you do with Maya, you know, and really get up close and personal with it and not have to worry about coming, going back and forth with the pictures and side to, uh, side to side, whatever you want to do. All right, so I found a way to do that. But you can't use that the whole image that we make here, you know. Um, so what I had to do is I went in here in the Photoshop and I cropped these little fellas individually. Now I'm using these because I know they're all the same size. You know, the ones we got from the Google Drive were slightly different. So you crop this guy, go to File, Save As, JPEG, right, call it Back. You know, then you go back and you save the side and you save this guy the whole thing with his other arm and everything and call him front so now you have all three of those saved which I showed somewhere here uh, desktop bam bam IPs reference images well I got them somewhere where did I put them oh yeah simple man references okay so front back side all right so let me get rid of this I'm gonna bust over into ZBrush all right so I have to do the Z spheres next so I'm gonna grab a Z sphere just kind of set him in there um, and I'm gonna be working with the floor uh, now I can't put a floor in yet until I go into edit mode so I'll go into edit mode and now I can hit floor, floor, floor. I'm sure I just passed it. There it is, floor. It's also shift P. Um, so we got a floor here, right? So I want to be able to use this floor, maybe put a picture here for the front, and then maybe put a picture here for the side. And then I can kind of, you know, snap, <coughs> sorry, snap around, you know, this side and the side right so that'd be nice um, so let's do that so here we got our bar our menu bar up here I'm gonna go to draw I'm gonna grab this fellow I'm gonna tear it off set him over here here's our floor options all right and you see right down here it says front back up down left and right so let's start with the front back all right, now we have map one and map two. These are two different pictures that we can put in to so they show in the in a front view or what ZBrush considers its front view. So I click that. I get all these funky pictures that ZBrush gives you. I'm going to go to import character creation week two simple man references front open. All right, bam. So now we got a front view. And every time we hit shift, we can snap right into that front view. And because it's in orthographic mode, it will stay the same size. It's not in perspective, right? We want perspective off. It'll always be the same size and kind of always be right there. Cool. Let's do the side. We're going to close that. Go to side. Map 1. Import. Blah, it really should open right back to the same thing, but that's a Mac deal. Side, open. And there it is. Uh oh, though, the problem is it's facing the wrong way. But that's okay. There's a little flip button right here. I'm going to flip him over and have him sit right there. So now when we hit shift while we're moving around, shift, shift. And we can get to pulling and pushing and prodding and doing all sorts of fun stuff with this fella. So there's my little tip. And uh, yeah, 
I hope you guys find it useful. Talk to you soon.